Yeah. But there's, there's way too harsh in the back, I feel like. I don't know, like on the race car, this thing was fucking awesome. This thing is horrible. That's what we get for not testing and not pre-running because we didn't know the track. We got lost. I mean, it's our fault. Fucking ran out of time. Oh, uh, we just raced the prologue. It wasn't good at all. We got lost to begin with because we didn't really have, we didn't pre-run like we should have. And so we got lost. Found the track, um, kept going. The car was handled really bad. I don't know. We didn't have, everything's came down the last minute. We didn't have time to test the car with the shocks. And we tested the shocks on another car and it worked good. And we put the shocks from the other car where it worked good back onto this car. And it just didn't work. It was horrible. Like my hands were freezing and I, you know, trying to control the car. It was hard and it sucked. So we're gonna, we're gonna go back to another set of shocks that worked with this car last year. Um, Hopefully it works for the race because uh, that was really bad. Like <laughs> that was horrible. It was really hard to drive, but uh, I'm just glad we made it through without breaking anything. And uh, we'll re-prep and be ready for the race here in an hour or two. And that car, it was great. Yeah. It handled like my short course car. I was like, oh, we'll be good with it. And it was like the front end totally tucked under and about fucking rolled twice in one corner. Dude, it was so bad. I never drove anything like that, that bad. It went from the greatest thing I ever drove on that car yeah. to the most dog shit on this car. I've never, never seen anything like it. I mean, the only thing different is the tires. There's no way these tires did that to the car. It's the same tire, we just cut them. I don't know. And obviously, the back tire, the spare didn't happen. Right? No, it didn't. That wasn't an issue. It's probably because your harness wasn't tight enough. <laughs> That's definitely good at that. Everybody knows that Jebediah is just a stanky feet. I don't know how to keep a PG. It's it's pretty bad. <laughs> uh, we had to go through and switch all the suspension off of the, the pre-runner. Said it was feeling a lot better through the whoops than what the, the suspension we had on the car was. So we swapped that over real quick. And then just did a regular nut and bolt check, make sure everything was good to go. And uh, get it set so you can go out and test it before the race again. We've been pretty busy since we got here. Uh, Went with a new radiator intercooler design and it just didn't happen to work out. We didn't have time to test it out before we got here, come here and find out it didn't work. So pretty much the first three days have been switching to a different intercooler design and uh, getting the cars back up and running. And then last night we were going through the car before the race today and had a brake line blow on us when we were bleeding the brakes. So it's been kind of a slew of anything that can happen has happened. definitely felt better. You want to put the other tires? Huh? You still want these? Yeah, I think it's fine. I, I really, I, it, it felt way more stable. It felt a lot better than the last one. It did. It felt a lot more stable. The other shocks on this car just feels like it's spring and no valving. It just feels like there's no valving in it. Did you leave me in the line? Okay, oh, so we need to go up there now. Oh, you, we, you remember the start pretty good? Yeah, up until early we got lost. <laughs> yeah. Well, what happened is the, the trail split left and right, and we were on the left, and then the trail kind of continually kept going more to the right. So I said, you need to get to the right. I'll try to be more clear if we're like, or if I say we're off course, we need to go right or something. But. Coming up. Oh, 
okay? Fuck. Fuck. Yeah, knock the wind out. Okay? Yeah, knock the wind out. Yeah. you that chassis was nowhere near this bad i'm sure the last 84 miles of whoops were just beating it further and further back but he still has four wheel drive the motors broke off the fucking smart lock diff both axles are still fucking fine and we run stock axles they're freaking perf but dude that i'm just impressed it made it back <laughs> and glad <laughs> yeah. There was like a rock right next to the trail, and it had like a, oh, yeah. a little left, and we were in the dust, and we just kind of went straight. And just, or whatever. <laughs> yeah, how was the dust at the oh, beginning? Right. It looked miserable. It sucked because we had a shitty qualifying because we didn't test the car, and so I was all the way in the back, and the dust was horrible. Did you think we were going to go over when, we, when that happened? Because, dude, I, I... No, I just thought it was going to be broke. I it is broke. It. Oh, it's broke. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. yeah. Can't believe it finished. Can't believe it finished either. Doctor, you, you ever seen that before? No, I've seen that one. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. But you, got you think you can fix it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, but we got some JB Weld and a couple big hammers. Should be should be right before be the race. You bet. Thank you. Well. Up here with Kyle Cheney. He races in multiple classes here at King of the Hammers. How was your day today in the desert race? Uh, let's put it this way: I've had better days. Um, I'm happy to be here. I'm uh, glad I'm not out broke uh, in the desert somewhere. Uh, we made a mistake and hit a rock, and uh, uh, that was like uh, probably 50 miles into the race. So we had like another 
150 to go, and I'm like, wow, this is uh, going to be tough. But uh, my can am stayed together. CT Raceworks built this thing, and uh, yeah, it's tough. I mean, as you can tell, you know, it needs a whole new front end. But uh, we were still able to finish, and, we're, you know, we weren't sitting out there broke. So I'm happy to be here, and um, I'm glad you guys made a tough track for us. Definitely, and you are a seasoned racer. You race multiple classes. You race different racing associations, short course. This course today compared to last year's race, what do you think about it? I don't know. I couldn't really see the course. Um, we were just kind of following our fish finder around, and uh, somehow we made it here. <laughs> yeah, I heard it was pretty dusty out there, but the course was getting worse every lap. But you're up here. Who do you have to think to get you up here on the finishing stage? Uh, definitely can am. Uh, CT Rakes works for building the car. Factory UTV skid plates. I think that's what's holding the front end together right now. Uh, Fox Shocks, uh, NOS for doing the suspension. Um, SSI uh, race line. Uh. I'm not outside to look at all my sponsors, but just thank them all. I thank you guys all for, I couldn't be up here if it wasn't for, for all my sponsors. Awesome. Well, thank you, Kyle. And you go have a good evening, and we'll see you next time here shortly. Back to you guys. Yeah. Might have heard worse. Uh, so we had some parts show up late uh, that we did get a test before we left. And uh, we got here and they ended up not working, so we had to redo a lot of the stuff we did at home. Uh, so we didn't get a test any in the desert car before the race. So we put the shocks on that we thought were gonna work and they didn't work during qualifying. So we were like 21st in qualifying, which put us back into the dust. And uh, so we worked our way through the dust and I uh, just made a mistake uh, trying to catch up, hit a rock and um, didn't end our day. It really caused issues. You know, we weren't able to uh, to go over like 60 mile an hour and um, it seemed to be getting worse and I think it knocked knocked fuel pump loose or something so we weren't getting a whole lot of fuel pressure so the car wouldn't run the car was running really bad so I don't know we'll uh, we're, we're, we've already tested the hammers car so we're we're gonna do some more testing with it that, that way we will be ready for uh, the UTV race and 4400 you know we're not gonna make this mistake again.